A big talking point on primary days is voter turnout. With early voting the new normal now, we see fewer people at the polls on the actual day of voting. Ten of your side's Lauren Moss spent the day outside a polling place in Virginia Beach. Lauren? Yeah, there weren't any large crowds here at Red Mill Elementary School today. A political analyst that I spoke to said he expected low to moderate voter turnout today. Well, they don't call it Super Tuesday for, for nothing. So the Commonwealth of Virginia will be a part of that large group that will help to decide who will face each other in the November election for the next president of the United States. It's the biggest primary day of the year. The Commonwealth, 15 other states in one territory, voted on which presidential candidate they wanted to represent their political party. Dr. Eric Coville with Norfolk State University said primaries normally don't bring huge crowds. What you do find, you find individuals who are, are enthusiasts about the voting process and their parties, and you also find the party that is out of power more enthusiastic about voting. At Red Mill Elementary School, it was a steady stream of people voting. There weren't any lines when we were there this afternoon. The unofficial results here at Precinct 31 is around 659 people voted. 11 provisional ballots were submitted. 623 of the voters today filled out the Republican ballot. 47 voted on the Democratic nominee ballot. Now, NBC News projects that Donald Trump and Joe Biden won their persp prospective races here in Virginia. That's exactly what Dr. Clavel expected to happen. In Virginia Beach, I'm Lynn Moss, 10 on your side.